As long as you arrived here, then you are a fan of coffee. But honestly, have you ever answered these important questions that we will start with this video? When do you drink coffee? Do you drink coffee in the morning or evening? Do you feel anxious after drinking it? Is it really a stimulant and can we benefit from it? Does it raise the pressure or not? Does it cause heart palpitations or not? Does it raise sugar or not? Does coffee help in losing weight or causing weight gain? Dozens or hundreds of questions emanate from the cup of coffee, which we will answer in this video. Before we start, if you are a new follower, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to receive all new videos. A cup of coffee contains many elements, the most prominent of which is a substance called riboflavin or vitamin B2, which contributes to the growth of the body and the production of red blood cells. The first question, when do we drink coffee? Therapeutic nutrition consultants recommend drinking coffee an hour after waking up, and they also recommend eating breakfast or eating anything, even if some dates are during this hour, as this is healthy for your body. But why is it one hour? Therapeutic nutrition consultants say that when you wake up, you must give the nervous system time out to restore its calculations and vitality. Specifically, we have a substance called adenosine, which is very similar to a compound caffeine, which is responsible for activity and vitality, and also responsible for fatigue at the end of the day, or in the middle of the day, if we make a physical or mental effort or the like. And when you drink a cup of coffee an hour after you wake up, you are working to complete the work of adenosine and thus enhance motivation, thus gives the body vitality and energy, mental energy, perception, and memory, and all the wonderful things that relate to the brain and memory specifically. And this is what we always want when we drink a cup of coffee in the morning. The second question, are there benefits for coffee? Drinking coffee, according to therapeutic nutrition consultants, provide an activity estimated at approximately 12% in excess of the body's natural energy. Therefore, we advise those wishing to engage in any physical activity or exercise program to drink a cup of coffee before going to practice this activity, so that they gain more activity and the ability to perform these exercises easily. The second thing, which is very important, is that the riboflavin substance present in coffee, with tens or even hundreds of antioxidants, gives health to the liver in particular, as it helps to purify the liver from fats and toxins and expel them from the body, and thus a cup of coffee is welcome and one of the strongest antioxidants. Not only that, but when you drink a cup of coffee, this raises insulin sensitivity, meaning that it makes insulin work with extreme accuracy, and this is required as the biggest problem that a person suffers from, which is the reason behind diabetes, obesity, and sagging stomachs. All of these diseases are insulin resistance. Therefore, we can say that a cup of coffee prevents insulin resistance and provides more sensitivity for this hormone to work with extreme accuracy. The third question, what does a cup of coffee do in your body? Therapeutic nutrition consultants say that coffee is one of the strongest diuretics and thus works to cause a state of dehydration inside your body. And here comes the role of a cup of water, which is necessary to compensate the missing water, as it is always preferred after finishing the drinking of a cup of coffee, to drink a cup of water so that we don't suffer from dehydration. We must know that everyone who drinks excessive coffee will suffer from dryness in the skin or the appearance of wrinkles on the face. And the main reason behind these early wrinkles and dehydration in the skin is excessive intake of coffee without drinking a cup of water with each cup of coffee. There are those who say that they want to get the benefits of coffee, but they don't drink it because it causes them anxiety and stress. Therapeutic nutrition consultants advise everyone who suffers from anxiety and tension after drinking coffee to drink a cup of coffee in the morning and in the middle of the day if they want more, but it is not permissible to drink coffee in the evening. Drinking a cup of coffee in the evening is what causes anxiety and tension, but if you drink a cup of coffee in the middle of the day, there will be at least four to five hours, which is good enough to take out this substance from your body, and thus it will not affect sleep, and the person will sleep normally without problems. So drinking one cup of coffee in the morning every day is healthy and excellent. Drinking two cups, one in the morning and the other in the middle of the day, that's fine. Three cups, it's acceptable. But taking more than three cups is bad and unhealthy as we mentioned. The important aspect and the good news for Parkinson's patients is that coffee contains magnesium and manganese, providing them with a state of improvement. By that, we have finished talking about the importance of a cup of coffee. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. 
write your opinion in the comment section, and people who follow us for the first time, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to receive all new videos. We wish you continued health and wellness. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.